How would you define a cult? Um, I would, if it was me defining a cult, I would be looking at quite a number of areas. The first area would be its level of control over other people. I believe quite strongly that no one should have control over another person. And in fact, that God gave us free will and the ability to choose. So I feel a cult is any organisation or individual who attempts to have control over another group of people or individual. So many times under that definition, families would turn into cults and religions would turn into cults. I feel, secondly, that uh, any person who is desiring worship is automatically going to be a part of a cult. As I've stated earlier, or, or as I stated in other questions, God does not demand our worship. Therefore, any person who demands our worship or demands our honour is out of harmony with God and therefore out of harmony with love. I feel that would be the second thing I would look at, whether people are demanding to be worshipped or demanding to be honoured. Um, aside from that, um, I would look at practices that demean or demonstrate a lack of love towards the individual. So any practice, I believe, that would attack an individual, demean them in some way, that is not honest but is a desire to manipulate and control, that would also be something that a cult would do. Fourth, I believe that if, we, if, a, if, if, a cult, if there is such a thing as a cult, it would be a group of people who are willing to deceive other people. Now under that condition, many organisations on this planet and individuals on this planet would come under that definition. I feel that any time we attempt to purposefully deceive another, we are automatically placing ourselves in a position where we are taking away the power of the other. What I believe needs to happen is we need to help people have the power to make their own choices and decisions, which is the opposite of taking away their power. We need to tell them the truth and then let them decide for themselves how they wish to act. If we, if we withhold truth from people, then we are not telling them the truth and we are deciding for them how they should act. And many people are not told the truth by governments, religions and other, and other organisations. And I feel that this is a, is, an, is a way in which many organisations control individuals. This is completely out of harmony with love and I feel cultish behaviour. But I feel that those four things that I've mentioned are probably the main things that I would be looking at if I was looking at a person you know, and asking myself the question as to whether they were a cult or not. Obviously, too, there's a fifth element, and that is this element of violence. If there is any element of violence or the potential for violence in the particular organisation that we're looking at, then I feel that that is also an element of cultish behaviour. If we look at that, even some governments have that in them. And so, again, some governments would even come under that definition. If we truly love we won't desire violence to be perpetrated towards another in any circumstance or situation. If we truly care about other people, we won't perpetrate violence ourselves. I believe that any organisation that perpetrates violence towards any other individual or organisation on the planet is automatically out of harmony with love. And in doing so, they are automatically placing themselves in a position of power or control over, the other, over other people. And I believe that is what a cult would do. So those five particular things that I've mentioned, I believe, are the primary things that I would use to determine whether something is cultish or not in, under today's definition of it. I do not believe, as I, I've previously stated, I do not believe the original meaning of the word, the Latin coming from the Latin, meant any of those particular things. However, the original meaning of the word did portray that God needs care, and I do not believe God needs care. God does not need us at all. God desires us, which is very different than needing us. And so I feel that whenever we use the word cult today, it's usually used in negative connotation, 
And, and if we were more intelligent about our assessment, we'd look at those five particular things that, we, that I've just listed and ask ourselves the questions. And any organisation or individual that does not display those particular qualities would naturally not be a cult leader even if he's accused of being one.